Hey everybody, in the YouTube community, Quantum95 here and welcome to more Let's Play Super Mario World. Let's butter up this bridge, butter bridge one. Now this level sucks, and I don't have anything because I didn't use save states to save. And I haven't really been doing that this much in this LP, even though I should so I could retain all my items and stuff like that. Now, if, what I mean save states is, well, I haven't used any save states in this game, actually, but I meant just to s basically save my progress instead of just cheating to play the game, because no one likes a cheetah. It ain't easy being cheesy. But we can life these Koopas. Life up these Koopas. If you try hard enough, you can get more than one life. Like so, but we can't get them from these fallen Koopas. And this is actually the level where, actually, most people, if you have Yoshi, people sacrifice him here. People actually will jump off Yoshi to get extra height, just so they won't die here. But I don't have a Yoshi to do that here on, so I'm just gonna have to go by sheer skill. Sheer skill, baby. Oh, I missed a mushroom. See? This level is just... Oh. Nah, it's not that bad of a level. It's actually really fun. And the music is so upbeat and cool, athletic. I am so small, Mario. I didn't rhyme there, but I don't really care. I'm gonna blast this level, I got a life. Oh Jesus, I almost felt... died. <sighs> Alright, we're back, and that took a balls load of time to get through. But as you can see, our lives have tripled because I used that trick on those Koopas again. Well, our lives haven't tripled, you silly goose. We actually only have 11 instead of 8 or 9 or however many we had before we died. But I can't believe I died there, man. It's like we're gonna have to cut parts in every episode of Super Mario World. That's not cool, man. It's not cool at all. Oh, we get a cape feather. Ooh. Lots of goodies to find in the bridge. In the bridge. Well, this whole place is just one huge bridge. This is World 4, as you can see. Well, yeah, we've officially moved into World 4 as of the last level. But yeah. So this world is actually the shortest world in the game, minus these levels. These levels are actually the secret levels, and I had no idea these levels existed until this part of the Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2 for the Game Boy Advance came out. And that's basically when I found out about everything for this game, that's actually the time when I beat this game. So. That actually happened to me a lot as a kid, and I hate that. Like, I didn't actually end up beating certain games until their remix makes came out. Same thing with Mario 64, Mario 3, you know, almost every Mario game except for the first one I never beat until the Advance remix came out for the Game Boy Advance. So, even though I got to enjoy them on those, that small console, Portable console, I still would have rather beaten them as a kid. I mean, that happened a lot actually. Like, I didn't even know certain games existed until their remakes came out for the Game Boy Advance. It's like, that's probably why I had so much fun with it, because I didn't know about Donkey Kong Country 2 or 3 until it came out for the Game Boy Advance. But we, did, we won't go to the castle yet, because we have to do the levels down there. But, yeah, that's pretty suckish, like, Donkey Kong Country, all the freaking Mario games. I had no idea Yoshi's Island even existed until, like, they remade it for Game Boy Advance. So, maybe all those remakes actually were pretty good, even though they never made a legitimate Mario game for the Game Boy Advance. But, anyway, let's go to the Cheese Bridge area. The Cheese Bridge! Oh, jeez. Whoa! That was a large, a very large fail. V colossal at that. Now let's do this right. I don't have a cape for this time. 
it'd be very convenient to have a Yoshi right now because I'd be able to show off one of the special, special stages like a very special stage that you can only access by using Yoshi but I don't have Yoshi so I'm gonna have to well I'll show it later on in the game because there's more than one hopefully I can get this cape feather without dying okay I'm just gonna float the rest of the way if I can oh geez getting ahead of myself but I can see the light the light at the end of the bridge okay and checkpoint now these wings you can't actually use these wings you need Yoshi to get these wings and it's too bad they don't actually put Yoshi in the level for you we actually need Yoshi to get the secret exit to this man we're gonna need you I'm gonna have to come back to this place man oh jeez. too bad they don't actually give you a Yoshi I'm gonna have to come back to this stage. I'll probably have to come back to it anyway just to get the secret exit, but... Yeah, we're gonna come back here. Maybe I'll get to show off that... Well, no, I won't show off the stage. I'm just indecisive right now. Just to ignore everything I just said. Just ignore my commentary. Completely ignore it, even though that make me very sad. But people don't watch my videos anyway because I'm just a starter. Woo! Well, it's not like I'm going to get noticed right away, but anyway, I'll meet you guys back at the same level after I get a Yoshi and everything, so I'll see you guys then. And we're back, mother truckers! We're back! Now, I actually could go as far as to get the wings right now, but we're not going to do that, because that that actually t just take us to the normal exit. But... Yeah, the bonus game will actually let you finish the stage, which is pretty cool, but it'll only take you to the normal exit. And you'd think since it's such a special thing that you'd be taken to the secret exit, but no. So this is kind of a dick move. So you, as you can see, the goalpost is right there. We can see it. But what you want to do is sacrifice Yoshi, that's right, and go behind the goalpost. So we have to kill our best friend just for our own benefit to get another goalpost at behind the goalpost. Nintendo, you are cruel people. And Yoshi's dead and fallen into this pond. Or soda lake as the level is called. We're not gonna be able to find him. So he's just he's just drowning right now. He's either drowning or enjoying fish heaven, eating lots of fish. Ah, oh, fire flower. My body is ready. It's time to kick some and take some names. You can basically guess what I was gonna say when I believed it out. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yes, these enemies, these derpy looking enemies, torpedo heads, water versions of bullet bills, but that should be self-explanatory. I've actually been explaining way too much in this game, actually. Stuff that I shouldn't even be explaining. Basically because if you don't know what's going on in Super Mario World, well, you're pretty retarded. Well, not retarded, but in other words, I'm very sorry for your loss. Because it's not anything like what I'm doing in Cave Story where I have to explain every single little thing that's going on. This is just a simple platforming game that's loads of fun for the, for the whole family to enjoy. Boom! 20. So we'll be in the bonus game. Oh, that's just great. Bonus game. Whoa. Well, we just totally screwed that up. Oh, well, we got one. Well, that'll even us out to 15. Yay! And we climb down this waterfall. And we get to go to the Star Road! Well, not just yet. But that's basically our third opening to the Star Road. So since we found the secret exit, let's go to Cookie Mountain. Cookie. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's tough on the throat. Oh, sumos, moles, sliding koopas, everything. 
This level is actually pretty fun. Pretty fun, pretty fun, pretty fun. Oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> oh, clouds. Clouds for the for the body. Twisted up on my words. Traveling, running through. My words don't match the music. Moles everywhere. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, there should be a plant somewhere. Aha! Aha! Oh, extra life! We're getting lots of goodies. Whoa. Oh, what the freak? I don't think I've ever gone down here, or I may have before, but what the heck? I forgot this was here. I haven't been down here in a while. Look at those Mr. Pur Puffers. Purple Puffers. Oh, it takes you up here. Well, I just flew from down here. Well, another life! Wow, they're just being very generous to us. Whoa. Ugh. Oh, look who it is! Hope you're not pissed off at us for what we did to you before. I apologize. Better not be. Whoa. Yes, and I don't think we've seen this in the game before. Basically, this is a cloud, obviously, that drops coins. If you're actually lucky enough to collect all of the coins that it drops, it'll drop a life right afterward. So we're actually just gonna go slow paced here and collect all of his coins. And we collected all the Yoshi coins, so we got a life anyway. And now we got another life. Life, 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 life. I think there's a life in here. Oh no, wait. You get back here. Chia. Get back here, you dog. Cause you already snow. We got those 40 stars, dog. Those 40 stars. Bad. Oh, wow. Okay, dog, we're gonna climb up this ladder, dog. Even though Yoshi can't necessarily climb ladders, dog, but we're gonna go in Ludwig's castle, dog. We're gonna defeat Ludwig, dog. Dog, da, dog, 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 dog. Oh, ho, another new enemy. Bony beetles. And basically, these guys just block your pathway, but if you hit them with one swipe of that cape, they'll be gone as soon as you can say. Honey butter. Honey butter. Oh, wow. We're just failing so much. I'm not gonna get that. Run. Okay. Oh, <laughs> why didn't I jump? <laughs> We're back. That f was actually pretty quick. But... We got a mushroom, so we're not totally helpless here, and we gotta remember to actually jump this time. This is a platformer, you know, you freaking idiot. Run before it falls on your head. Slide like a bouse. Climb the wall or cage, whatever you wanna call it. Cape. Feather punch the Koopas on the wall. On the wall, on the wall, punch and kick, hit, hit, rhyme, sing to the song, demolish everything that has to do with freaking Ludwig Von Koopa is the next boss. He is the only boss with his own unique boss battle. Even though the, uh, the boss battles up to this point have actually been pretty unique, after Ludwig, the boss battles are actually just going to start repeating for the Koopling, so... Even though that's pretty much could be considered a spoiler, that's just the truth of it all. So, actually, some of the things that you've seen in boss battles will be reused and done over in a different way. It'll just be done with a different Koopling, and it'll be slightly harder, but not too hard. But he's the only one with his own unique boss battle, so that's pretty cool. And I forgot to look up at the score. Dang it. And this is actually one of the more unique cutscenes. 
the castle flies off. Mario doesn't even know what's going on. He's like, what the freak? Well, it puts a patch on the freaking mountain, man. Mario, you're a jerk. Ludwig von Koopa's days of composing Koopa symphonies in the castle number four are over. The forced evolution lies ahead. Mario must use his brain to solve the puzzle of the perplexing force. What is this, Pikmin? The perplexing pool? Well, there is water behind this mountain. You can even see the patch on the mountain in the overworld. But in the next episode, we are going to be tackling the beast that is the forced evolution. I'll see you guys in the next video.